Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. There's also a little eye on the top right. If you click that, you'll see this playlist so you can watch all the old videos. Also a bunch of nice channels that you can check out if you want. Uh, but just a little quick recap what we did in the last video. We finalized the vertex object loader. I just want you to, before you do anything, skip forward in this video, whatever, just remember you have to fix something. Like I wrote, I wrote it in the last video, but I don't know if you remember. We have to go to line 136 here in object loader.h and just write minus one before all of these. Otherwise your mesh is gonna look hella weird, son. It's gonna look completely inside out and weird since we're gonna be using the wrong vertices and wrong stuff with each other. So just go ahead and do that. Control S that. And if it crashes like mine, then you're doing something right. There you go. We also have this here. Let's just do a STD C out uh, mesh or model loaded. I'm pretty, ah, oh, shit, object OBJ file loaded. Good. We'll just do a little confirmation there. I will have a number of vertices there. Uh, let's just do this. Boom, boom. Uh, Okay, uh, let's do this outside, just so we have a little confirmation. Load success, return vertices, boom, good. Now let's go back to our game.cpp. Now you'll see this is something that you don't have. Uh, if I compare with unmodified from my last thing, you'll see that this is the only thing I changed. So this is what we're just gonna be looking at. I just added a few lines up here in init models just to test some things out. So what I did was I created a temporary mesh vertex array. I loaded the object into that. So I just want you to copy this code. I pushed back into the meshes. I pushed back all this data. Okay. The meshes size. I put null for the uh, indices. I put zero indices. Also, I put it at some kind of a position origin here, whatever and we will be able to change that up. We don't have to think about that right now, but let's just go ahead and run this, and I will. you will see that our dodecahedron is loaded up, straight up loaded up. So you'll see it won't look nice because we don't have a nice texture for this, but it is a dodecahedron, and it does have a bunch of nice stuff going on on it, okay? If I remove the texture, maybe it would look a little nicer, but I don't really remember how to do that. So I'm not going to do that just yet. We're just going to chill. Uh, our mesh, I think our mesh or our, our model here pushes back three thingamajiggies and it uses some kind of texture here. All right, we'll figure that out as we go along. We don't have to think about that right now. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a model out of an object file, okay? I wanna be able to load an object into a model directly. So if we go to our model.h, we'll see that we have a few different types of things here. Uh, we have one, we actually just have one constructor. I'm gonna copy paste this constructor down here and I'm gonna comment this for obj file loaded, uh, file loaded model whatever, we'll call it like that. We'll also include obj file loader, obj loader. Uh, we can remove that include from this then because we will have our object model here. Good. We'll remove, we'll control X this from game.cpp. Just control X all the new stuff I made and go down to your model.h to this one. Now we can use a position, a material, texture, all that stuff, uh, meshes. Here we go. We're not going to use that. We're just going to do a S or const char pointer uh, obj file like that, like that. We'll keep it like that. Now we're going to load this file. Now, very nice, very nice. Let us just do this. Let's leave all this stuff here, all this we'll leave control V right in here. Okay. Okay. So we're going to remove this meshes because we're not 
going to include all the temporary ones in here. We are going to move them and set their origin. Here we're just going to do this mesh, meshes that push back or, and then uh, push this mesh back whatever we loaded basically. So we're just going to push that push that in there. Uh, we could have done this directly actually to not have to go through all that uh, da, da, da. but you know we'll leave it like this. We don't have to really mind here. Um, and then all the textures, everything will be set. Everything will be set here. It will be moved, all that. And when we render it, we'll render it. Okay. So that's basically your change. Check out this model constructor here, like this. And you should be good. Make sure you're deleting the meshes here. Anything you do new with, you make sure you're deleting them here. Uh, let's go to game.cpp. Let's go down to all the way at the bottom. Let's copy one of these beauties. Let's put this here and let's set this at four like that. Four, 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 four seems nice. New model. Okay. Uh, very nice. Uh, mesh materials. Okay. Zero. Fine. We'll keep it like that. Uh, we'll do these uh, container thingies. And here is the difference. So here we're going to use a string. I want you to copy this string, whatever you had up here. And also remove this because we don't need to really use that and paste that file name here okay and once you've done that if you run this you should be having a nice model really just popping out at you chilling right here okay so we have a model everything else seems to be working on it all the specular maps everything now the texture doesn't really look that great obviously or it depends on what kind of person you are maybe you like this maybe you don't uh, I think it looks cool. At least it has the form, it has the shape, and everything is nice. Now let's try a little more complex uh, thing here. If we go to your folder, go to your folder where you have your stuff. I, mine is right here. Boom, bam, object files. Let's do something else. Let's do teapot, son. Teapot. We like teapot, all right? So teapot.obj, teapot.obj, you want to remove these spaces because that might bug you the hell out. Run that. This is going to take a little longer to load because a lot more vertices. So don't be worried if it takes a little while. Okay, why didn't that work? Uh, hold on. I didn't save it, I think. Now run it. Good, good, good. Now it should take a little longer. Okay. Okay, you know why that doesn't work is because we are using this here still. What you want to do, <laughs> obviously, is you want to do a obj file here in your model.h file in the constructor, okay? Now, if we run this, it's going to look hella weird with this texture, but, you know. In the next video, might just change that up. It'll load for a long time. This is a big model. And here you go. You got a big wooden teapot, son. Look at that. Look at this beauty right here. Look at this. This is amazing, bro. Ooh, look at that. I can go inside the teapot. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes, that looks hella weird, but that's nice. How would you like... How would you like a wooden... Wooden smooth sphere? Okay, this is gonna take a long... No, I'm not gonna load that. I'm sorry. If you wanna load that, you go ahead and try. It's 111 megabytes worth of text. I'm not going to load that, but, you know, if you want to, there you go. It's, it's your world. Okay. Uh, but there you go, guys and girls. Pretty much that's it. Pretty much that's it. We're going to change textures on this in the last video that will be coming out later. You go ahead and try to do that. I I'm going to make sure we fix so that we don't require textures at all times. I think that functionality is already there. I think it's in the fragment shader. You know what? Let's try that before we end. We have a few minutes. Let's go ahead and remove this right here uh texture let's do this fs color boom okay uh whoops what did i do okay just copy the whole thing put it down here all right so just remove the texture coordinate part and do this nice and if we do this you should be seeing stuff without textures because the textures are messing up the nice looking stuff here uh, let's load this teapot in. 
Go ahead and load it in. Come on, boys. There you go. All right, so here you can see your teapot without textures. And you can see all the light on that. You can see, still, you can see that beautiful specular lighting, all that stuff. Uh, but there you go, guys. There you go. Check this out. Play around with this. Make some models. In the next video, we're going to make some models in Blender, most probably, just to load them in and see how that looks. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Check out the little eye on the top right. Check out the description box, all that stuff. Take care, keep working hard. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.